Hey everyone, hope you're having a great weekend. It is Saturday and I am so excited because on Thursday evening, the Naked 2 Urban Decay Basics palette showed up on my door. I ordered this at 5 a.m. on Tuesday morning when I woke up, saw the email came through that it had uh, released and bought it immediately. So I wanted to do a quick review on this awesome palette and tell you my thoughts. Okay, so let's just get into it. Here's the box, standard box, good stuff. Here is, of course, the packaging. It is identical to Naked One. Um, this one's a little gunky, but it is identical to Naked One. It is six shadows. They are all neutral toned, and all of these are basically um, matte. I think Skimp may have a little bit of a shimmer to it, but these are the colors. And you're gonna see tons and tons of people talking about this, but I thought I would go over it because I know a lot of, a lot of my friends are looking for um, good neutral tones. And I really think that Urban Decay has it right here. So I thought I would, of course, do this review. I am wearing um, the palette today. I am wearing Undone, this dark color, on my lid. I'm wearing Primal to basically buff it out. And then I'm wearing Cover, this third color, underneath my eyes. To give you guys an idea, I did another look yesterday with this. It is on my Instagram. That'll be linked below. That basically just using... Um, these two colors here and I use this all over my lid. So here are the colors of course. This is a cool toned matte palette. There are six shadows. It retails for $29 on UrbanDecay.com. It is already re released on Urban Decay. I'm not sure if it's still in stock. My guess is it's not still in stock. These things usually sell out pretty quickly. However, I know that at Sephora, it actually hasn't, and Ulta, they actually haven't released these thing, these yet, so it'll be coming, guys. Just, you know, so you, you may have to wait if you haven't already picked it up on um, UrbanDecay.com. I didn't pay for special shipping for it to get to my house that quickly, but it was literally at my house within two days, which I was pretty pumped about. Uh, but again, here are the colors. They are absolutely beautiful. I love these. To me, this is a perfect palette for someone who is not really looking for anything outrageous for makeup. If you're looking for a neutral palette that will last you a long time, that has really good color payoff, that is very good quality, this is, you know, these are six shadows here for $29, so a little bit less than, you know, five bucks a shadow. This is, this is a great, great palette. And the one thing that I liked about this palette more than anything, and this is gonna sound really weird, that there isn't black in it. I have to be honest that I really get sick of seeing black in every palette that I get. I know that's a staple for a lot of people, but for me, I hardly use black. And I'm sure a lot of, a lot of people are just like me. I hardly use it. You know, you get this entire huge block of black and I'm like, I am never going to go, go through that. Because I use black just to line maybe my eye line, um, I hardly though use it even to do a smoky eye. That's just me, I usually go for more dark chocolates or dark grays if I'm gonna be doing a smoky eye. So that is what I love the most about this palette. They swatch these bad boys quickly. Um, this is Undone. It's a beautiful primal. Beautiful. I have to tell you, whenever I was doing this, um, really, really good pigmentation, a lot of pigmentation, it was, I barely touched my brush and it just came off really, really easily. No problems there. This third color called Cover is kind of actually reminds me of my Bare Minerals favorite color um, in Namaste. I think it's um, called the Enlightenment. It's called the Guru Namaste thing. It kind of reminds me of that. Great dupe. This, um, this is a great blending color, this color called Frisk. I'm not sure how well it's going to show up. There it is here, and here it is on my skin. Here's Frisk. To lightest color is kind of like a peachy tone to me, and here it is on my skin. I'm not sure if that's gonna come up well. It doesn't really come up great. It's pretty close to my skin tone. And then this last color, Skip, is the only color that I think has a little bit of pearlescence to it. Yeah, there's definitely a little bit of pearlescence to that, if you can see that or not. Beautiful, beautiful pigmentation. It The only the only negative thing that I saw was that when I did put my brush into some of these, they did, um, some of the some of the shadow kind of poofed up a little bit, if you know what I mean, kind of got a little bit um, all over. It's very normal, This it's eyeshadow, it is what it is. But this is just an amazing palette. And like I said, I think this is great for anyone from 
a guru, you know, a you know, real makeup artist, to someone that is just starting out, girls who really aren't into maybe makeup, your mature women who are looking to look professional, or for me, you know, I'm a 31 year old gal who just loves makeup. So Urban Decay, you can do no wrong in my eyes. I absolutely love this palette. For 29 bucks, it's, it's, it's amazing. You know, this is amazing. I love the packaging. It's nice and sleek and nice and tiny. I can take this with me anywhere. Wonderful. Thank you for not putting black in this palette. <laughs> Okay Amazing. guys, so that was my review on the Urban Decay Naked 2 ba Basics palette. If you have any questions on the palette itself, uh, please let me know. I think it's a wonderful palette. Like I said, if you'd like to see this look, the look that I did on my Instagram, I was actually asked on my Instagram to do that. I was thinking maybe next weekend I would post that. And guys, for uh, watching my video, know. I hope you guys subscribe to my channel. Please make sure you check out my Lorac Pro palette uh, giveaway, which will be linked below. And I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye! And uh, you guys make, make sure you're drinking all your protein. This is actually coffee and uh, vanilla protein powder mixed together. Awesome.